almost 10 now. I that's think it, 10, 10, yeah. Oh, that's great. You think that's good? Yeah. I told my mom that, and she's like, she looks down on me. because Joey she... did 10 on his prom night. Oh, that's like, a great that's number. That's a great number. You think so? Under 20 is, is oh, marry that marriage. girl. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Really? I 100%. thought it was under five. No. no. Maybe in 1988. How many guys uh, have you allowed the pleasure of entering your chrome? Oh, box? my God. I was really good before, so... <laughs> Okay, so two years ago, my body count was three, and now it, like, tripled. More than tripled. I'm at, like, almost ten now. That's I think it, ten. ten? Yeah. Oh, that's great. You think that's good? Yeah. I told my mom that, and she's like, she looks down on me. because Joey she... did ten on his prom night. Oh, that's like, a great that's number. That's a great number. You think so? Under 20 is, is oh, marry that marriage. girl. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Really? I 100%. thought it was under five. No. no. Maybe in 1988. How many guys uh, have... Hey, uh, Shalom. Shalom, Israel. Uh, first and foremost, I want to begin by giving all the praises on the glory unto our Lord Yahweh Bashem El Shai Bashem Rechavadash. Double honors unto my apostles, my teachers, regret most on, and peace and love unto your sincere Agam that are doing the work of Yahweh Bashem El Shai sincerely and truth. As you saw the video, um, you know, uh, this woman right here, you know, she was asking, you know, what her body count is, and you know, she basically went on to say that, uh, you know, her body count is uh ten or under ten. Um, and she's getting praised for that, man. Okay. Now, ultimately, why is that? It's because you see a lot of women around her age. Okay. And their body count is way higher than that. Okay. And so the fact that she has under 10 or 10, okay, she's getting praised for that, which that's still wickedness, man. Okay. That's not right. That's still a lot of men that have entered into her, man. Okay. And so she was talking about how, you know, that uh, before she was uh, good and that, uh, you know, she only had three, which that's still going off, okay? Especially if those men, okay, that, you know, that she slept with are still roaming around the earth, okay? The first the first man that laid with her is considered her husband, according to the scriptures, man, okay? But who follows the scriptures today except the men of the Lord, okay? Okay, and the, you know, and the believers, okay, the one-third, Okay, which includes women and children, okay, and so on and so forth. Okay, nobody else really cares about the ways of the scriptures, man. Okay, the scriptures talk about an order, okay, and that a woman is considered a whore, okay, if she goes and she sleeps with multiple men, okay, and today, women around her age, okay, and under the age of what, 20, okay, or even 30, even 40, okay, they've had what body counts of. Okay, more than hundreds of men. Okay, and there's videos of other women who come and say, okay, that they've slept with thousands and thousands of men and women, man. Okay, which goes to show you. But the point is that this woman right here, even though she's going off, okay, she's getting praise for that. And this guy right here is saying that under 20, okay, a body count under 20 is a woman that is, uh, you know, to be considered... Um, a wifey material, basically, okay, you know, that's, that's who you would marry, fuck that, man, that's disgusting, okay, that's disgusting, and men and women are not the same, so you can't, uh, basically, uh, put the same, uh, the same laws, okay, with men and women when it comes to sex, okay, or when it comes to body counts, because a man can actually have multiple women, okay, a man is not equal to the woman, Okay, and a man would be going off is if he's sleeping with women who are already married or women who are, who are already dealing with other men. That's when that man is going off. But if these women are single, okay, he is allowed to actually what to have those women in his possession. Man. Okay, but the ways of the scriptures, okay, the scriptures talk about that all things are lawful, but not all things are expedient. Okay. So there's things that are lawful, but you just don't go around doing because we're living in a time where things like this, okay, get promoted wickedness, okay? So even though there's things that are actually righteous in the scriptures, okay, the world would condemn that, okay? The world would say, you know what? We need, uh, you know, equality between men and women. And so if a man sleeps with 10, you know, different women, okay, they may all be single, okay? That's actually righteous, but a woman sleeping with 10 different men, okay, that is going off. Okay, that's how just the Lord set things up, man. Okay.
So let me get a few of these precepts here because the precepts are important, okay? And they clarify exactly what needs to be spoken, man, okay? This is the book of Proverbs chapter 30, verse 20. Such is the way of an adulterous woman. She eateth and wipeth her mouth and saith, I have done no wickedness, man. Okay, so this woman right here, okay, she's getting praised. And so guess what? She's actually, you know, she's actually going to go forth and actually have multiple men. Okay, she's only like, what, around 20, you know, 20 years of age. Okay, and she slept with 10 different men. By the time she turns 30, she's going to have, what, around 100 or even more. Okay, around 100 or even more. So, you know, right now, this world is basically getting worse and worse and worse, man. And so the people in it are also going to get worse and worse and worse. All right. Um, another precept right here is in the book of uh, Deuteronomy chapter 23 verse 17. It says, there is, there shall be no whore of the daughters of Israel, nor a sodomite of the sons of Israel, man. And you see whores and sodomites all over the place, man. Okay. Now it's becoming the norm and you can't even say anything about it, man. Okay. As to where you see it in these movies, you see them around you. Okay, you know, some of them actually work with you, you see? And so it's like, that's just the norm. That's why the scriptures talk about woe unto them that call evil good and good evil. Okay, they basically turn things around. And the scriptures even also say, you know, that, um, that Yahweh by Shingon Shai. How many guys, uh, it's a lot here. That Yahweh by Shingon Shai had made man upright, but they have sought out many inventions, man. So there's laws, there's orders on things. Okay, on what to do and what not to do. But in today's world, okay, those things have been what? Have been turned upside down. Okay. So just wanted to bring that out. Lord willing that it was edifying and to basically expose wickedness, man. Now, if she repent, okay, because you always have to say that, man. Okay. If she repent, you know, then there's a chance. But what is the likelihood of her repenting, man? Look at the way she's dressed. Okay. Look at the fame that she's getting. Okay, she's most likely going to become worse than what she is now. Okay, but at the end of the day, man, it's all up to you. How about you know, Shabbat? We are here to rebuke wickedness, man. Okay, and we go off, you know, right? You know, you know, because we're in the flesh, we go off from time to time. Okay, but when we go off, it's different than when these people go off, man, because we actually do to the best of our abilities, man. And we pray unto you, how about you to forgive our sins, man. Okay. But a lot of these people don't even care. Okay? They don't even care no more, man. So with that, shalom. Shalom.